Good morning and welcome to Music Sunday at Neighborhood Unitarian Universalist Church in Pasadena. Uh, welcome to all members, friends, and guests. My name is Catherine Blue Holmes and I am honored to be a member of your Board of Trustees. Neighborhood Church creates and grows an inclusive community of faith connected by love, spirit, and service. We acknowledge our presence on the ancestral and unceded territory of the Gabrielino and Tongva peoples, the traditional caretakers of the lands and waters of this campus. With respect for the rights and wisdom of indigenous people, we acknowledge our harmful colonial histories and commit to decolonizing our own practices, to learning new ways of being in community and with each other, in good relationship with the indigenous people of this land and with the land itself. Neighborhood Church is led by Senior Minister Reverend Dr. Omega Burkhardt. Today's service is led by Music Director Dr. Zaneda Robles with Associate Music Director Wells Lang, Bell Choir Director F. Thomas Simpson and Neighborhood Bells and the Zaneda Stewart Robles Singers and Strings. Our guest pianist is Catherine Eames, and our soloists are Shelley Edwards and Adrian Banuelos. Please take a moment to silence your devices as we begin our service. Families with young children are always welcome in the sanctuary, and there is additional seating in the entry foyer, also known as the narthex. I have just one brief announcement today, and it is a request for people to sign up with the music programming for the fall. Uh, you too can be part of this joyous experience of music making. More extensive announcements, as well as our order of service this morning, are available as a link in the Sunday email. And our order of service is also visible online by scanning the OR code, uh, QR code, excuse me, uh, on the back of your hymnal with your phone camera. Again, welcome to Neighborhood Church, whoever you are and wherever you are in your spiritual journey. Welcome to this inclusive faith community connected by love, spirit, and service.
friends and um, mother, father, God, friends in high places. We ask for your presence in the music today. Fill our hearts with all the joy we can hold, and so it is. Our opening hymn is number 149 in your gray hymnal or on the screens above. Please rise in body or in spirit and join us in singing, lift every voice and sing. Each Sunday, our congregation dedicates 100% of its contributions to 501c3 organizations or neighborhood church-based social justice activities that are making a difference in our community and the world. Each selected guest organization aligns with our community's mission and values, 
and is nominated by church members who often are longtime volunteers and supporters of these change-making organizations. You can donate in one of two ways. You can use your cell phone to donate by texting the number on the screen. Uh, or if you'd prefer to donate in person, please put your donation in one of the designated boxes during the music or after the service. There is a donation box behind the back center row and in the narthex entryway on the table. Please extend help to those in your neighborhood who may need assistance in reaching the donation box. If you wish to make a payment toward your pledge or contribute to church operations, please make a note in the subject line or use an envelope available at the donation boxes. This week, our gifts will support the Neighborhood Church Music Program. And here to tell us more is Dixie Cassidy. Good morning. In 2018, the choir created a beautiful covenant to guide our musical work. The covenant states in part that, I quote, we commit to offering our gifts in the service of the church, helping to invoke sacred space, and supporting the liturgy through our music, unquote. As the years went by, this covenant has become the foundation of our entire music program, extending to our bell choir and youth choir as well. We have expanded our service to include the surrounding community by performing in venues off campus, collaborating musically with other churches and participating in the UU MLK Choir Festival. And as you can see today, we provide an opportunity for singers of various ages and backgrounds from across Southern California to come together each summer to sharpen their singing skills, serve our church community and reinvigorate their love of choral music. Thanks to your financial support year-round, we have a wonderful music staff of dedicated professionals who provide leadership and musical excellence every week. Your share of the plate support today helps us purchase much needed supplies like music scores, black folders, music stands, pencils, and small instruments like tambourines and hand drums. Your support helps us pay for the maintenance of our beautiful organ antique pianos, and our unique harpsichord. And your generous support can enable us to bring in amazing guest musicians throughout the year. With your support today, we'll be able to pay for the music for today's service, and we'll be able to serve our community with even more extraordinary music and musicians all year long. So in celebration of this extraordinary church and of the many blessings we're privileged to enjoy together, nature, art, friendship, family, faith, hope, and love, for these blessings and many more, we offer today's music. Selections from Songs of Ascent by Southern California composers Sean Kirchner. This is a contemplative piece of classical music Therefore, we kindly ask that you refrain from applauding until the conclusion of the postlude. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Please enjoy. Thank you so much for giving generously.
composer, composer Sean Kirshner writes, big projects often begin innocently enough. In the case of Songs of Ascent, the year was 2012, and I was looking to set my grandma's favorite psalm, the 121st. Consulting my King James Bible, I happened to notice the psalm's subtitle, A Song of Degrees. Investigation revealed a subset of psalms, each referred to as Song of Ascents, all considered to be traditional songs for pilgrims making their way to the temple in Jerusalem, most likely for festivals of first fruits or harvest. I needed a substantial work to round out my composer residency for the LA Master Chorale. The Songs of Ascent became my culminating project with a targeted 2015 premiere. But the project became its own sort of pilgrimage for me, and along the way there were midlife and religious crises, and many mixed feelings. My research into the history of Jerusalem revealed a constantly contested place. Its very first mention in the Bible includes a massacre. And when I reached the point of delving into the project in earnest in the summer of 2014, a flare-up of violence in Jerusalem led me to strongly question the wisdom of contributing another religious work to a world already torn apart by religiously motivated conflict, writer's block. At the same time, some of the Psalms struck deep chords in me. Psalm 122, I was glad, had been famously set by other choral composers and I wanted to contribute my own take. I was raised in the Church of the Brethren tradition, which has a rich history of a cappella four-part singing. And I have vivid memories of the first time I heard the massive choir of participants at the Church of the Brethren annual conference sing hymns together. I know what it feels like to be glad to go into the house of the Lord. An obviously relevant theme in the Psalms was reconciliation never more clearly expressed than in Psalm 133. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. The long history of conflicts between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the three brother faiths that each trace their descent from Abraham and which each hold Jerusalem in reverence, intensified my feeling that the theme of estrangement and reconciliation had to be a central focus in the work. My Church of the Brethren tradition places high importance on peacemaking, and I grew up with the notion that the fact of worship, the act of worship, is irrelevant if it disavows the conditions of one's relationships. I hope the listener may find moments within the piece that touch, heal, uplift, and inspire.
now a moment of silent contemplation.
words of Paul Robeson. I shall take my voice wherever there are those who want to hear the melody of freedom or the words that might inspire hope and courage in the face of despair and fear. My weapons are peaceful, for it is only by peace that peace can be attained. The song of freedom must prevail. Please rise in body or in spirit and join us in singing our closing hymn, number 1045, in your teal hymnals, There is a Balm in Gilead. To all that is love, our thanks, our gratitude, and so it is.
Thank you so much. There are signs posted in different places around the campus and around the sanctuary with a QR code to sign up for choir. Come sing with us. Join the bell choir. Get your youngsters into the youth chorus. And please join neighborhood chorus as well. Check out the barcodes, and we hope to see you this fall. Thank you so much.